the high seas, high seas. Cast my line, now they're biting. Rocky coast and lighthouses, what she knows now I doubt it. Talk to me nice. I think your confusion starts with street lights. Hello Aquarius. Welcome to your Tarot December 2018 reading. I already have the cards here. So before we start with your reading, I just wanted to cover some quick astrology because it's important. So Aquarius, we have 11th house and 12th house energy for you in December. Sagittarius and Capricorn seasons, okay? Sagittarius is your 11th house, very powerful because you are the 11th house Aquarius, but for you, Sagittarius is 11 signs away from you. So that's, that's your 11th house um, according to the zodiac wheel. So have you ever wondered why you were so expansive, why, why your energies are so collective and also so expansive? It's because, well, Jupiter's in your 11th house and because your 11th house of friends and groups of communities is occupied by the very bubbly Sagittarius energy. So we got the first couple weeks of December centered around that new moon and, you know, all that energy. But then at the end of December, we have energies creep up into your 12th house, Aquarius. So I would say at the ending of December, you may want to just kind of prepare for the, the subconscious energies of the universe. It's a lot of force there with the, the subconscious forces, I meant to say. You know, so that's more your subconscious mind, things that you're not quite conscious of as an alien, you know. Um, you know, your dreams, your spirituality, anything that you feel needs to become undone. Because we only go through 12th house energy before we go through 1st house, right? Pisces technically comes before Aries. So Aquarius, your season is just right around the corner. That's crazy because that means Pisces is right around the corner corner. So, you know, we just have to go through a subconscious release before we get to the first house, which I think is completely necessary. So the end of December is about releasing some of the things that need to become undone about yourself. But let's stick to December energies for now. We do have that 11th and 12th house energy. So basically, December is all about um, your friends the groups of people that are surrounding you, whether that be at work or in your family. The holidays are around us, so there's going to be that collective energy of people at bars and families getting together. So that's that collective 11th house energy for you. But you are the 11th house Aquarius, so I think you're going to understand that. You're going to understand that collective. You guys are social. You know, oh, I see the moon outside my window. It's a sliver of lights, and I believe it's in Capricorn, about to enter Aquarius as I'm recording this, okay? So uh, there might be something about the moon for you guys because I literally, my, my energy just got pulled to look at it, okay? So I see a crescent moon. That might be important. I'm not sure. I was just about to talk about the full moon in Cancer, which is Aquarius. That would be your Aquarius, Pisces, Aries, Taurus, Gemini, Cancer. That's your sixth house. Yeah, that would make sense. Leo is your seventh house. Cancer is the sign that comes right before Leo. So yeah, we've got a full moon in your house of lifestyle, everyday routine. So we'll talk more about that influence in my Cancer full moon video towards the end of the month on the 22nd. But you know, you may just want to look out for completions of cycles when it comes to your lifestyle, Aquarius. So I think that's it. Of course, there's so much more, but this video is more centered on around tarot. So we've got the spread here. We're going to start here with the center energy this month, okay? So this is the card that everything is centered around. And what do we have for you, Aquarius? We have the Four of Cups. This card has showed up for Sagittarius, Capricorn, and now Aquarius. You guys are the only three readings I've done so far. Wow. So I think we're all feeling a bit dissatisfied emotionally. Like, is this the time of year where we just kind of get really stubborn emotionally, where we decline love, like... I don't know. I feel an intuitive vibe about new love around this time of year. And it's just kind of hard to start a new relationship around. I guess it's because the year is ending. You know, like who wants to, you know, the New Year's kisses and stuff like that. It's just so weird to me. But Aquarius, we have the Four of Cups. So this is a person who's very, very much in deep contemplation. They're focused on these three cups on the ground. So this could be three people, places, or things, a person, place, and a thing, okay? But there's three factors here that you're very much focused on, excuse me, in December. And then there's this fourth cup coming out of the sky. It's a very bizarre, weird offer from the universe. Sometimes this is a missed opportunity. So we'll see how this uh, comes out in the 
rest of the spread but you could definitely be ignoring certain offers of emotion you know Aquarius you could be emotionally detaching yourself but it looks as if this is centered around something that you're not emotionally satisfied with or something that you're just ignoring or maybe you're just simply not available to me this is my emotionally unavailable card like you're already your emotion is being occupied um, here with these three cups so you actually can't afford to see that cup so it's really interesting how tarot readers interpret that card okay you can just apply it however but what I'm feeling Aquarius is that your focus is somewhere else besides love besides emotion okay because you're bored you're dissatisfied um, maybe you know you're just emotionally unavailable so let's move to the south node this is the south node of your reading Aquarius you just got done being the south node so you should understand the amount of release that has happened over the last two years of your life. There was a lot of release with the South Node in Aquarius. This is the same for this reading. This is what needs to be released in this reading. It's also your past life, your foundation, the catapult from the past to the future. So this is, let's see what it is. Oh, okay. Five of Swords. So to me, this is about what you're releasing, Aquarius. This is Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. We also have Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio here. A lot of swords and water so far. So potentially clarity over your emotions or communicating about emotion, which is cringe for Aquarius. Cringe, cringe worthy. So we've got you releasing some conflict and arguments. You're releasing something um, five of swordsy. Maybe it's mental conflict, but I don't like this card. This card talks about losing the war or winning the battle but losing the war. This is another one of those cards that can be interpreted in a lot of different ways. But to me, this is someone who's dropping their sword and no longer wanting to battle. We have these three swords in this man's hand and the two swords on the ground. So it could talk about a decision. It could talk about heartbreak. Maybe this was a decision that you're releasing, a betrayal or something like that. But to put it in a nutshell, Aquarius, I believe that you guys are releasing conflict um, from the past. You're releasing con conflicted thoughts, okay? You guys may have had, um, you know, harsh words with people in the past that you're just releasing now because it's about the future. You know, this is your south node. So you've already mastered mental conflict, Aquarius. This is another placement in this reading that talks about mastery, okay? This is the energy that you're releasing because there's nothing else you can learn from it. You can't learn anything else from this conflict. This could be a conflict anywhere in your life, work, relationship, family. We'll have to see the rest of the reading to really get a full picture. But so far, I've got Aquarius is just emotionally unavailable because of conflict in their past. You're not, you're not really super open to new emotion from people and places and things because you're focused on... You know, this could be a third party for some of you where there was three or more people, places, or things involved and that caused conflicts. But this could definitely be why you're not you're not seeing that extra cup because there's too much conflict. But you're releasing that conflict and I'm really glad to see that. Let's see why you have to release this conflict. Because in order to get to the North Node, you have to release the South Node. So where are you going, Aquarius? Okay, you are going to the Five of Pentacles in reverse. I actually remember seeing this card kind of I knew that I just forgot, but I knew I seen this card. Some of these cards I haven't seen yet, so we'll be seeing them together for the first time. But I remember this card because it came up kind of sideways, so I was kind of confused a little bit as to whether I should put it. I didn't know if this card came out in the reverse, but my intuition definitely told me it, it showed up in a more reverse, and I like that anyways. Because why would Aquarius be heading towards financial poverty and um, being left out in the cold? Some of you could resonate with that since it was kind of a half and half, but I really feel like most of you guys are headed towards, um, you know, you have two fives, first of all. So a lot of conflicts, you're releasing a conflict mentally and financially and physically. So you could be dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. There's a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio somewhere here too, but I'm seeing a lot of conflict being released. So your North and South node are basically the same because this is the release position and even this is in reverse so reverse is an indication of release as well coming out of the cold in your in your future you're headed towards a less cold some of you could be moving to like warmer climates or something but this to me it does talk about uh, being left out in the cold so in your future you might feel a little bit less like that you might be getting yourself out of the cold okay which is interesting um, in the state that I'm in it is very cold outside right now but Aquarius is becoming less cold especially financially this is talking about feeling homeless and feeling like, you know, a fear of poverty. So you guys could be feeling a bit more stable financially in your future, okay? You could be headed towards um, 
more stability financially, like more of a balanced situation financially in December. At least that's the direction you're trying to get to. Okay, so we have the Five of Pentacles in reverse, which I love for your North Node. So this is where you're heading, Aquarius. You're releasing conflict from the past, mentally, arguments, you know, battles and wars, narcissistic energy. You're releasing that in order to get to a less, a less cold environment, you know, whether that be financially, in your relationships, in your home environments, you know, because this is centered around feeling a bit distant you know we have that person this could be a person you're dealing with or you Aquarius but this whole situation has to do with someone who's you know too emotionally um, focused on something to to have even any more emotion come in at this time and that makes sense because there's there's a line of conflict here but like I said you are releasing it so that's great so let's move on to these positions here this is your wings I'm calling these the wings of your situation it's six o'clock. Um, so yeah, these are going to be what's supporting you. Because, you know, your wings are supportive. Wings, um, they allow you to fly and take flight, okay? So this is what's going to allow you to take flight. This is the wind, wind beneath your wings. So whatever these two cards are, they are an energy that's supporting you. It's beneath you in a positive way, supporting you, uplifting you. And we have the Ten of Cups. Okay, so Aquarius, one of your wings are... It has to do with your home environment, a happy home environment. Emotional fulfillment is one of your wings, okay? So this could be a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio person. This could be any any zodiac sign that is emotionally... So emotional fulfillment is on your side. The happiness and abundance flowing through your relationships and your home, whether that involved children or whether you're living completely alone, this looks like some harmony coming in in December to support Aquarius on their flight towards emotional stability happiness abundance blessings so you have a wing a wing of blessings blessings are taking flight for you in december this is also a completion so if there's anything that completes at an emotional level in december this is one of your wings that are helping you fly if that makes sense let's check out the other card here Ooh, we have the hermits so some of you guys could be involved with Virgo energy, however that applies, children, family members, relationships. There is a significant Virgo energy showing up in the reading. You could have Virgo energy. Um, but yeah, I do see that there could be a specific Virgo that is helping you out because we have a Virgo on your side this month helping you take flight. If this is not a Virgo, then there's other ways to interpret this. This could be your solitude, Aquarius. Your solitude in December could be helping you take flight. It could be something that is beneath your wings, helping you soar your own wisdom, okay? Wisdom when it comes to emotion, because there's some emotional wisdom I'm sensing here. And when someone is emotionally wise, they're able to see the offers that come in. Is this something that would fulfill me? Is this something that would drain me? Because I do feel an energy, it's the difference between feeling fulfilled and drained. That is such a difference. That's an opposite energy. Feeling drained and feeling fulfilled. It's like overflowing or bone dry, you know. So there's some kind of emotional wisdom here, okay, which I am loving to see because I love emotional wisdom. I definitely see a mastery of emotion. And that's why Aquarius is smart enough to walk away from any conflict this month especially in the home environment or when it comes to family because you know you guys are very wise emotionally wise enough to not fight anymore wise enough to reject certain emotional offers so that could be new love coming in you know you guys are you're wise you're doing very wise you're making very wise emotional decisions this month you could be doing it on your own this could be this could be someone who's been spending time alone who just feels emotionally recharged. Because I know when I when I spend time alone and I reflect, so there is some reflection going on. The Hermit and the Four of Cups, I love seeing these cards together because it talks about deep contemplation. So you definitely have deep contemplation on your side. It's going to help you. It's going to benefit you to contemplate deeply, emotionally, why in a wise way this month. And it has something to do with a Ten of Cups situation, relationship, home environment. Whatever fulfills you emotionally, that, that's helping you, especially with this wise figure here, whether this is you or someone, you know, in your circle. So very interesting, Aquarius, very, very interesting reading that we have so far. I'm going to come back to some of this and, and then see if I get any more messages. Um, but for now, let's um, take a look at these four corners here. These are your four corners in December. 
So we have the Two of Swords in one of your corners. We have the Ten of Cups twice. Ten of Cups here, Ten of Cups here. So that is a strong card for you guys. We have the Emperor, a significant Aries in one of your corners. And we also have the Two of Pentacles. Ooh, the Two of Pentacles, Aquarius. So as far as this, this part of the reading, these are just different corners of your, your universe. And oh my goodness, do you remember when I was talking about that crescent moon? Here is the same crescent moon that I'm looking at out my window. This moon, they, they look exactly the same. So when I was picking up on that energy, I was picking up on the crescent moon in this picture. So there is some kind of decision in one of your corners, Aquarius. Now, the two of swords... Sometimes it's a person who is blinding themselves to a, a certain decision that they need to make. Some of you guys may have decisions to make when it comes to your family, when it comes to your home environment, when it comes to your relationship. There's like an emotionally fulfilling decision. And I did say that you guys are making wise decisions this month emotionally, making very emotionally wise decisions. And this looks like an emotionally wise decision. Um, but you just want to be careful with the air energy, Aquarius, because you guys... Air can detach you. You guys know how that is. It can detach you from emotion. That's exactly what this woman is doing, which, you know, you're going to have to decide for yourself whether that's a good thing, a positive thing, or a negative thing for you. I just always like to talk, especially because we have the importance of that crescent moon there, okay? The moon potentially transiting through Aquarius around the 11th and the 12th and the 13th. That could be the time where this decision comes up. This could be an emotional decision. Just be very careful not to overly intellectualize the situation when there is obvious an amount of emotion in this reading. There could be a little bit of a caution here with that, you know, to, to embrace the emotion, Aquarius, as opposed to, you know, blinding yourself entirely to it. But I do understand the balance that needs to take place there. The Two of Swords is also talking about balance. So, you know, combining intellect and emotion, which is basically wisdom and emotion. So, wow, very, very intense message there with the Two of Swords, but this is in one of your corners. So, in one of your corners, you have a decision. It could be a decision that you have to make blind, you know, which means it's a decision that you have to make and just kind of have faith, like a blind faith in the situation. Just be careful of, um, you know, putting your emotions on the back burner there. Because this is a crossroads for some of you. It's a decision between two people, places, or things. All right? And it, you, it may help you to make your decision based off of the, the most warm decision, you know? I feel like because it's the, next to the five of pentacles in reverse, you don't want to make a decision that could potentially lead you into poverty. It could potentially lead, lead you into feeling left out in the cold or even being homeless. Because we have someone who's no longer homeless. You know, I don't know what that means, but someone has definitely come out of the cold um, and since it's by the ten, of, the ten of Cups here, the Five of Pentacles is right by the Ten of Cups. This is like a home environment, okay? So some of you guys have finally have, you know, you guys could feel homeless too. Now, there could be some people out there who really are coming out off the streets. Like, I went from being in the streets and being homeless to actually having an emotionally fulfilling home environment. So you could have felt homeless if you guys weren't literally homeless, you know, then that could just you feel, be you feeling like you didn't have a home. You know, you didn't feel at home where you were. But in December, these energies are, are coming. Now, this is a decision to make. Um, some of you have to decide to come out of the cold. You know, some of you guys have to decide to, to be less cold about this in order to really, really soak up that abundance with the Ten of Cups here twice. You guys have the Twenty of Cups. <laughs> like, that is crazy. The Twenty of Cups. Like, you have Twenty Cups here filled with emotional abundance, and it has to do with children. It has to do with family for some of you. It's a relationship. But I do see a strong indication here of two children, whether they be a daughter and a son, two daughters, two sons. But there are, you guys could have more than two children as well. But look at this. Two children playing there and laughing. Two children by the fireplace there with their mother. So some of you guys are single parents. You're coming out of the cold of being a single parent or something like that or feeling like a single parent. So we do have a decision here to make in one of your corners. Someone may have very long brown hair. That might mean something to some of you. But this is a decision to make, Aquarius, about your emotional fulfillment. I'm telling you, there's a very wise decision. Aquarius knows that they have to rely on their wisdom because you guys are not a Cancer or a Pisces or a Scorpio. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpios, they, they don't... It's like we, we have mastered emotion, but mastering something and being wise is actually different i'm being told i'm being told that being wise and, and mastering something is, is to you can be wise and not have something mastered 
In fact, a wise person always knows that nothing is truly ever mastered. Not to contradict myself, but I'm hearing these things. So sometimes the wisest thing to do is to, you know, detach. Sometimes the wisest thing to do is to allow emotion in. So it's going to be different for every Aquarius. But that decision is so, there's a very important decision in December for you guys. That's, that's what I'm seeing. And it may have to do with children. It may have to do with a financial decision about your home. Like there may be something, there might be an opportunity here of more money, a new job somewhere, but it may involve you moving, which kind of scares you, some of you, because it's like, you know, you have a family to raise. So that might be the whole homeless energy. Like you don't want to do this. You might have to make a decision about your home or something like that. Okay. This is for some of you, this is like... I don't know, the heat coming back on or something like that. I'm just saying there could be someone here who went without heat for a while because of something and now it's working or something like that. I don't know. Um, because now we have this fireplace. See how warm? When I just said that, I was just talking. But then I look at the cards and they tell me the same story. So we have you coming out of the cold Aquarius. Something here, there's a home environment. Baby, it's cold outside. That's why I just heard that song. Um, but yeah, the fireplace here. The fireplace, which is so Christmassy for some of you who are celebrating that. But to have this warm fireplace right next to this, t the Five of Pentacles in reverse, the cold is being defeated. And there's a warmth. There's an emotional warmth happening here. So Aquarius, you guys just maybe, you know, you guys are probably just you're becoming less emotionally detached for some reason. Okay, that could be the wisest thing that you do this December. Um, it could be your kids could just be really opening you up. Maybe there's a specific relationship. Okay, and then we have, that's in one of your corners. So in one corner we have a decision, and in the next corner we have uh, the Ten of Cups, a blessing. We have that twice. Um, so that's in one of your corners. So in, at, on one hand you have this decision. On another hand you have the stability of your home, the fulfillment, some kind of completion in your corner. There's something completing. So this is not only in your corner, but it's also on your side. Know that family and, and um, emotions are on your side and in your corner this month. We also have the Emperor. So in another corner of your universe, Aquarius, we have this Aries individual. Maybe you're dating an Aries. Maybe there's an Aries family member. Maybe one of your children are an Aries. This decision has to do with some kind of boss. Okay, because we have the Two of Swords up there and then we have the Emperor. So this could definitely be a decision to take a higher opportunity to be to move up in the scale of you know wherever you work but making the decision to step up as a boss may or may not um you know you're not really sure if you should accept this offer that could very well be the offer that's coming to you in the middle of this reading you know and you're not really sure if you should offer a new cup because you got all these cups you're like i'm fine you know i have all these i have 20 cups why would i need this this extra why would I need 21 it's like catch 21 why would I need that emotionally this is not a game you know what I'm saying like so you're really thinking about whether you should you know and it's really interesting I just looked up at this card and there's four cups there on the top so there there's the four of cups right those four cups one two three four and then you know it's like you'd have to pile it on top of each other I'm saying because if you think these cups here the ten of cups here there's four on the on the top, and then there's the, the six one, six on the bottom. So for some of you guys, this may be a soulmate. This may have to do with your children, because now I'm seeing the six of cups indirectly. The six of cups isn't here, but if you look at that card, there are six cups on the bottom. So the six of cups is a nostalgic energy. Maybe it's an opportunity to move um, somewhere in your past. Um, but then we have the, the four of cups in that picture. So here's these four cups. And those four cups are right there. So it's like if you took that opportunity, you'd have to pile it on top of what you already have with your children, if that makes sense. But it, it's also an indication of a soulmate. There could be a soulmate that's trying to offer you someone from your past, you know, a relationship from your past, maybe a past life, maybe someone you had conflict with before. Could be a Virgo. We do have Virgo and Aries here for you guys. So if you have any Virgo Aries energy um, around you in December, they're coming up in your reading could be that could be linked to a um conflict maybe some of you guys are juggling a virgo and an aries like do i go with the virgo do i go with the aries there's somebody here that's juggling between two different paths like that there is definitely a decision either way you shake it there is a decision to make aquarius and it's a decision 
about a path, okay? So we did talk about this emperor, all right? This is someone's boss. It could be the father of your children. You could be having conflict with the father of your children, especially if he has Aries energy. You could just be having conflict with your boss or having conflict in the authority that you that you have in your home. There is a decision here to make that needs authority, blind authority. So if you had blind authority, what, what decision would you make based off of power alone? Okay, and I know that seems a little bit like dictatory, but there may be something here that you need to dictate, Aquarius, some kind of decision that you have the amount of wisdom to make. It could definitely be about a job for some of you. Because I do see that your boss, it, they may be presenting you something. But it's like you just came out of the cold financially and you finally are finding yourself in a comfortable place. But it's like, now that I'm here, there's even more offers coming in. And I really need to follow my wisdom is what I'm hearing. Aquarius really needs to... This is a test of wisdom. It's a decision to make that only a wise person could make, okay? This Aries here in one of your corners. Some of you live with Aries. Some of you guys are in relationship with Aries. And then there's these two decisions here, okay? The two of pentacles is another decision to make. It's also someone who's juggling something financially. So for some of you guys, there's an opportunity for a new job and an old job that you're in the middle of. It could have to do with some kind of retrograde. Maybe it has to do with Uranus retrograde in um, Aries. Yeah, Uranus retrograde in Aries. Okay, Aries is your guys' third house of communication. So this might be, you know, a choice that someone has to make between, um, you know, maybe traveling a short distance or something like that. But I think Uranus and Aries, and it's going to stay there until March which is another Aries month. So there might be a decision that you're, that's coming up now that will, could potentially impact you and you're in the spring, which is interesting because this, this looks like a spring energy, okay? This looks like the spring energy, like the spring equinox, and this person's in the spring too, but you just, you know, because of the, the surroundings, okay? Coming out of the winter, moving into the springtime, this is, there's, that's coming up in your reading for some reason. And then this is quite literally a path. So do you go left? Do you go right? Now, we can see how both of these are a decision. And it's like, it's an intellectual decision. And it's also a financial decision. Like someone has to d decide between two different people, two different places, two different things. And I think the main message here is to go towards what would make you the warmest, Aquarius. What would make you feel warm? If it's two people, what person makes you feel warmer? If it's between two climates, you know, move towards the more the, the warmer environment. If it's between a job, move and what does warm mean? It means passion, it means fire, it means that you could express yourself more. So just kind of consider that when you're in the middle of that really hard decision in December, because you're being pulled in two different directions by people, places, and things. And while all that is going on, you're just trying to focus on, you know, the emotion that you feel. You're trying to focus on these three things that are important. And that's why you're trying you're trying not to see. You know, a lot of us are going through this four of cups. This has showed up for Sagittarius, Capricorn, and Aquarius now. So a lot of us are ignoring offers. And it's because we have too much going on elsewhere. So I know the focus of your family and your home and your children, your relationship is playing a role, but we also have your your job coming up here. We have finances and a decision to make about that. Okay, so it's a path. It's a path for sure. You could always choose to go backwards, especially while your planet is in retrograde. So some of you guys, this is definitely about going back to your past. There could be past people, places, or things. It could be the nostalgicness of family members around Christmas. You know how that is. You know how it is when the family gets together. You know, that doesn't happen by mistake. You know, sometimes offers come in when you meet, when, when that uncle comes around that hasn't been around in years. You see these people like once every year for Thanksgiving and Christmas, for those of you who celebrate that. And for others of you, it does have to do with your father or some kind of authority figure. But Aquarius, you have quite the decision to make. And in between it all, you're kind of just, you know, deeply contemplating, which is a very wise thing to do. Because some people would just make a quick decision and maybe they'd re they'd they uh, almost said retrograde. I, I meant to say maybe they'll regret it later. So you could just be isolating yourself emotionally in order to contemplate on this family situation. Okay, you do, you have two kings underneath um, the the underlying energy, the King of Cups and the King of Swords. King of Swords could definitely be Aquarius energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. 
I do want to mention real quick here that you don't have any wands. We have swords, which is air, cups, which is water, pinnacles, which is earth, but we don't have any fire. So there's something here about a missing element of passion, which is exactly why Aquarius needs to come out of the cold in the future. No wonder you're sitting here by this fire because you are cold. Like you need to warm up your inside. This is a metaphor. For some of you, it is going to apply literally because it's about a home. Somebody just moved into a new home with two children or something like that. And like you want this to be your home for at least the next 10 years or so or something like that. All right. But we do have the king of swords here with the fool and the knight of swords. Oh, my goodness. Aquarius, check this out. So in this deck, we have two fool cards. Now, look at this. Both of them came out for you. You see how that? Some of you quite literally have a new beginning coming in mentally, or it's with a Gemini, because the Knight of Swords is Gemini, but this does the Knight of Swords does talk about someone who charges forward without caring about the consequences. That is not Aquarius energy. Aquarius almost always um, considers every consequence for everything, So because you guys are very analytical. So I think this is just you guys really trying to... Um, you know, weigh out all the consequences of your mental decisions. But there is the Knight of Swords charging in. For some of you guys, that is a Gemini. And there's this new beginning here on either end. Like, you guys got two full cards. I cannot make this up. So there's definitely some kind of new beginning um, in this reading for you guys. Could have to do with an Aries. Because the Emperor, I mean, the, the Emperor is here. So definitely Aries. And also just a new beginning. Some kind of risk. Some kind of leap of faith that you have to take. And we have that with the knight of swords and the king of swords gemini libra aquarius energy so a new beginning mentally so lots of new beginnings lots of new beginnings and i love to see that i mean i cannot make this up you guys got both the fool cards and they are different if you can see so this could be two opera oh my god you guys know how you have to choose between two to yeah there's like two new beginnings one of these would be enough one of these would be enough to 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 make a choice about but you guys have two new opportunities to start at zero you see that these cards are both zero cards and they look different so it shows me that these are two new beginnings this new beginning different clothes this new beginning different clothes and either way they're both coming in at the same speed and you know what i think this is i think some of you guys just started a new beginning and now there's another new beginning so it's like wow Bottom of the deck, again, the king of swords. So clarity, intellect, you know, mastering the mental space here. And then I wanted to show you guys that you have the two of wands and the five of pentacles. So here's the third two. The only two you're missing now in your reading is the two of cups. So these are all the indications of a path. Okay, there's no doubt about it that you have a decision to make in December, Aquarius. All of these are decisions between people, places, and things. Um, and then we have the Five of Cups again, but this time she's upright. So I know poverty and feeling left out in the cold is definitely something that is contributing to which which new beginning Aquarius is, moves towards. And if you notice, we have new beginning, intellect. New beginning, intellect. So that tells me Aquarius is definitely analyzing the differences in new beginnings right the you guys are being very intellectual about these new beginnings mentally right and maybe detached because air is sometimes detached you may have to detach yourself in order to know um i have a venus uh, aquarius and mercury in aquarius so i know exactly how that is so i wanted to mention here that you guys have two kings at the bottom of your deck we have the king of swords and the king of cups so masculine energy here whether you're dealing with males or females this is a woman in the picture but it is a king okay so, you know, two different men, um, maybe some of you guys are choosing between a new beginning with a air sign and the painful ending of a water sign. So painful endings emotionally or with a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, that painful cycle of betrayal and backstabbing um, finally coming to an end in December because you have mastered. I, I told you there's a lot of there's a level of mastery here and you have mastered emotion and intellect and we have the Empress and the wow the uh tower so there could be something here about a mother figure we have the emperor and the empress which that came out for sagittarius i believe but there could be a foundation here for a mother 
maybe this is about a Taurus, a Libra, or an Aries, but there could be um, a mother, the foundation that a mother was standing on, it could be falling down, whether it's your mother, especially if you have a Libra mom, or a Taurus mom, or an Aries mom, or if you are a mother to those, so if you have an Aries offspring, or a Libra offspring, or a Taurus offspring, they could be dealing with things crumbling down this month, and then look, we have the Two of Swords again, so this decision has to, to do with you know, some kind of message coming in of happiness. I feel like someone's pregnant. I feel like someone has a son here. They have a decision to make about their son. Um, and, and someone's pregnant, you see. The empress is someone who's pregnant. So a pregnancy or the knowing about a pregnancy could definitely um, cause some things to, to end this month, okay? I don't know how that's going to apply to all of you. You know, that might help you make a certain decision, Aquarius. Uh, I don't know. But I did want to mention that you have two kings. And that doesn't just happen on accident. So two very masculine energies, whether they're feminine or not. This, If you're a woman watching, you're just leaning more towards the masculine. Or you're choosing between two men. For some of you, it is some emotional death. Something has died emotionally. So you could definitely be dealing with a Scorpio. Uh, there could be a Scorpio that's pregnant or something like that. And, um, you know, a new beginning mentally because of an emotional death. Maybe you kill your emotions, Aquarius, in order to begin new mentally. I don't know. But um, before I end the reading here, I did want to show you this surprise that I have for you, Aquarius. We got a visit from Spiritual Santa, so we have a present here for you. Um, no matter what you celebrate, this is the season of giving, okay? So I did want to open up your present for you. I have a tarot card in here that I picked intuitively for you. Um, I don't think I've seen what it is. So we're going to open this together. And it is an angel card. Oh yeah, I remember it now. So you have the gift of relax and release, Aquarius. That is your gift for December. So it's a gift. Maybe some of you guys receive a gift for like a spa treatment. Or maybe this is just the gift of being able to relax and release. Like... You know, that is a hell of a gift. Anything that helps you relax, so bath bombs or, um, you know, Epsom baths, whatever. It's just there's a gift here that is going to help you relax and release. For some of you, this is like a time off of work, um, time to just be at home with your family. For you know, this is the time of year where people take like lots of time off of work. So this is time to relax and release, Aquarius. And I'm going to look up um, the, the meaning in the book here. But intuitively, just kind of looking at the card, I feel like this is literally a gift that of relax. So there's something you need. As you release something, Aquarius, you may relax more. So we have 37. The card 37. And I'm going to show you guys the picture just in case any of you guys, it's over here. In case any of you guys want to snap a picture and um, read it later. So hopefully you can see that, but I am going to I'm going to read it for you guys as well. So we have the gift of relax and release Aquarius. So as an indigo, you were born to be passionate and nothing can change that. However, this card reminds you to focus on channeling your emotions and opinions in positive and constructive ways for the sake of peace. The angels ask you to find a creative and beneficial release for your emotions so you can move on freely. For example, you can channel anger into artistic projects and volunteering for activist work. Ask the angels to help you express yourself in a healthy way. Make sure you're always fair to yourself, but be fair to those around you as well, Aquarius. That is exactly what I've been... I love how the cards fit in. Because first of all, it says you are born to be passionate. Did I not say that there's a missing element of fire? There's a missing element of passion here. Remember, I've been talking all this whole reading about warmth, okay? So the fact that this this is a gift here that maybe it helps you pa be passionate, okay? So it, it also says that this card reminds you to focus on channeling your emotions. That's another thing that has come up. In this reading about, you know, I was telling you that maybe you're detaching a little bit. So channeling your emotions, Aquarius, all that water back there with that very important crescent moon. Another thing that came up that I wanted to say again is um, release your emotions so that you can move on freely. So channel your anger into artistic projects. And then it said volunteering for activist work. That's so Aquarius. Volunteering to help the community. 
So, yeah, and also express yourself in a healthful way. So I told you that sixth house of, of cancer, that full moon in cancer, that's all about channeling stuff in a healthy way. So let's see, there was one other thing. It says something here. Oh, channeling your emotions and opinions. So here it goes. There's something here about emotions and opinions, okay? Remember, this whole thing, wisdom, emotion, intellect. I didn't know how to say it, but now the angels have helped me. And it, it, hopefully you just, you know what I'm saying, Aquarius. This is all about channeling your emotions. Um, and the difference between what you feel and what your opinion is, right? Or the other people's opinions. There's just something here about balance and peace as well. So Aquarius, that is what I have for you guys. Hopefully that helped you guys out. Um, I wanted to mention before I end the reading, Tyson, stop it. My, my dog is an Aquarius and he never fails to muck up my Aquarius readings. I tell you, he was quiet during the Sagittarius reading, quiet during the Capricorn reading. And then as soon as I hit Aquarius, he started, he barked before your guys' reading, but thankfully he stopped. Whatever, I'll, I'll leave him alone because he's going through this too. <laughs> he's an Aquarius, born on January 20th, so he's on the cusp of Capricorn. But anyway, guys, I just wanted to let you guys know that I am doing personal readings. I'm offering... 2019 yearly readings so if you want to take a look at the year ahead i do have readings and, and stuff for that and all kinds of other readings so just let me know i would love i don't read for aquarius very often um so i would love to connect with you guys let me know um i have my email and all that below and also i would love for you guys to comment and let me know how this resonates so happy holidays to you guys and um all that good stuff and, you know, just, just try to enjoy December. It looks like your home environment is um, getting better. It looks happy. So thanks, guys. And I will talk to you in fucking January 2019. Where, where has time gone?